Hello and welcome to our show Neat S600 where we talk about secrets of scoring more than 600 marks in the Neat exam. And my name is Kamal, I'm your host. This episode is in continuation to the previous one. Today we are going to talk about how we can score more than 600 marks with the help of biology. And in biology we are going to talk about zoology as a subject. To educate us on this, we have with us a special guest, Akriti Madam. Akriti Madam, welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. Akriti Madam is going to help us understand how we can score more than 600 marks with the help of zoology as a subject. Ma'am, zoology happens to be a theoretical subject. Kafi cheeza yaad karni padti hai. Ratna bhaat padta hai bachon ko. To isme thoda hume guide kijiye ki strategy kya honi chahiye when we prepare for zoology. Absolutely. First of all, sir, this question really deserves to be the very first question. And to start with, we'll first take the very first crucial step that is time management. Effective time management requires effective planning. And to achieve that effectiveness, I would like to give some mantras. Train your mind and discipline your body clock. Prepare yourself to sit for three hours in neat examination. Learn to compartmentalize. Don't lose your focus on attempting all the questions in one go. Instead, work on accuracy, work on speed, work on filling those bubbles correctly, your OMR sheet correctly. After that, complete your paper in one go, whatever you are 100% sure of. Then revisit the hard questions which went unattempted in the first go. And for that, use elimination for calculated guess. Please note, do not attempt unless you are 100% sure of to avoid negative marking. Alright, so uh, with this I would like to reiterate this piece of message that do not attempt anything which you are not sure of. Madam, bachcho ko thoda sa time manage karne mein problem hoti hai. Which what I understand is time hum tab manage kar payenge jab mujhe pata hai what is important, what is not important. Mm -hmm. Jab mere ko ye importance pata lag jayegi, weightage pata lag jayegi, tab I would be able to allocate time. Absolutely. So, can you help us understand what is the weightage? Chapter wise distribution, yes. Yes. what to focus on. And for that, they go, Padna sub padega, Padna sub hai. But apart from that, for effective learning, one should focus on attempting more questions from certain topics in abundance. Apart from that, lay more emphasis on hotspot based strategy. What is hotspot? The questions which have been frequently asked in need. And let me help you with this. For that, Akashans have made a chapter-wise distribution of previously asked questions. And if you analyze that chapter-wise distribution, you will see that chapters like reproduction organisms, human reproduction followed by animal kingdom, which is further followed by evolution or human health and disease and finally biotechnology principle and processes. They carry higher weightage. So students should try to attempt more questions from such chapters. All right. So, what I understand is that uh, chapters kuch important hai, Absolutely. kuch chapters come important bhi hai, but we can't afford to miss any chapter, revise sab kuch hi karna revise hai. Revise sab karna hai. Right. So, NCRT ko pura revise karne ke liye mein kuch strategy aap batana chahe. Bilkul sir, this is the most important question because NCRT is called to be the bible for any neat aspirant and NCRT holds utmost importance and how to revise for that and I would like to give this tips which if students will follow religiously will definitely end up going to their favorite medical college. Oh wow. The very first step is practice. Practice NCRT a number of times at least three times. Read, revise, re-revise. Also underline your NCRT with different pens or different highlighters each time you revise. Apart from that Integrate all your thoughts. Sari indriyon ko use kare. Use your writing skills. Use your speech. Then note down the important points given in the paragraphs in the space. NCRT mein jo space mila hai, us mein lik dije. Apart from that, integrate NCRT points with the points which have been previously asked in NEET. So, ek integrated points aapke yahan ban gaye. The next step is when you go through the paragraph, convert it into flow charts. Jitte bhi mechanisms diye hote unko flow chart mein banaya ja sakta hai. Iske liye ek example dekhte hai. For example, there is regulation of kidney function given in the chapter excretory products and elimination. So how to go about that? You just write few words. So you have read the entire paragraph that may contain 10 lines and they include 100 words. 
convert these 100 words into 10 words, your 10 words of success, okay. how to go about that. Just write fall in blood pressure or GFR releases renin from JG cells that converts angiotensinogen to angiotensin 1, then ACE converts angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. This angiotensin 2 is a vasoconstrictor to stimulate the adrenal gland to release aldosterone. Under the effect of this salt retaining hormone, sodium reabsorption occurs, it, it restores blood pressure. So, this RAS mechanism would be concised in 10 words, your words of success. So, point kya hai, conclusion kya hai. You just concentrate your paragraph, then you formulate a flow chart, assimilate it in NCRT and that gonna guarantee you selection. All right. So, this is why we have to test the test. Absolutely. If we have to test the test, we will have to test the mock test. Ke upar kuch batana chayenge, Bilkul, sir. Mock test, ke liye, I would like to propose another interesting strategy that is reverse learning or reverse pyramid or inverted pyramid of learning. How to go about that? First of all, take a full slavers test. Then analyze your answer sheet that is going to reflect your weaker areas, your weaker zones. Then once you have analyzed your weaker zones, work over it, improve over it. Uh, for that, you can seek help from your faculties. And after that, you go about a wheel of success, what that include. So you read, you revise, you give a test that reflects your weaker areas over which you improve. Once you have revised and read, you improve over that. You can seek help from faculty and then repeat the wheel. So you read, revise, okay. test, reflect, improve, repeat. All right, so we can call it a wheel of success. Wheel of success. Wow, wheel of success is something that we should all follow. All right, ma'am. So success in NEET also depends on the kind of mentor that we have. Any guidance that you would like to give on how to choose mentor and what is the role of mentor? Absolutely, sir. Every great achiever is inspired from a great mentor. And there are two categories of mentor nowadays. The very first category is your faculty, your teacher. You can directly seek help from them. You can clear your doubts. And the another category is click on me, your digital mentor. And for that, we have neat preparation based app that is neat challenger app that converts one question into many possible questions. Apart from that, you can also seek help from Akash diagram booklet which includes labeled diagrams along with some noteworthy points. You can also seek help from rapid revision booklet that includes noteworthy points chapter wise. And once you have read, revised and you are confident enough and to evaluate your preparation, you can also sit for All India Cash test series and final test series. Thank you so much madam for uh, sharing valuable insights with us. I am sure the kind of guidance which Akriti madam has shared with us if we follow them wholeheartedly, we will be able to score more than 600 marks in the NEET exam. With this, we would like to conclude our episode on NEET S600. I hope this whole series will be very informative and you would be able to make the most of it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.